In this question, we are asked to find the area of the circle drawn. Therefore, we will need to find the diameter, AB. This and only this will be sufficient. There is a key fact for this question, which is that any triangle inscribed in a circle with the diameter as one side is a right triangle. This is a fairly random piece of geometry to have to know for the test, but it is included in the math standards listed in the official guide. This means that we can get the diameter using the Pythagorean theorem if we have both other sides of either triangle. With this in mind, let's turn to the data statements. Statement one gives us exactly such a situation. AD is indicated in the diagram, and we're told BD, so we have two sides of a right triangle and can use the Pythagorean theorem to get the third. Therefore, we can get the diameter, and statement one is sufficient. Statement two gives us one of the missing sides in terms of the other missing side. This may seem insufficient at first blush, but let's consider the n equations and variables rule. By the Pythagorean theorem, we have two equations for the two triangles. Substituting in the known quantities that we have from the diagram and from statement two, these two equations are the following. That's the top one, and this is the second one. It turns out that we have two distinct equations and only two variables. We can substitute BD squared and thus solve for AB squared, and we will be able to obtain the area. Statement two, therefore, is sufficient. The correct answer is D.